Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and I'd just like to share with you some not great people that are on Facebook. So you come, Zynga are advertising extensively on Facebook at the moment and have dragged in a few people that I know. Now, one of the ways to check if somebody is happy being on social media and happy for the world to tell you what they think is to check this little box here and change it to see what other people are posting. Now, they've not left that option open for you. Um, I can look at friend activity, that means people that I know who are interacting with them, um, but there's absolutely nothing. And there's no opportunity for somebody to post on this page. So this particular company are not putting things on there and all they're doing is using this as a broadcast channel which is not a surprise when you actually google Zynga which I've just done and this is what comes up now the mirror comes up first then a consumer group and then Zynga's um, website now you absolutely must be careful about this particular company this is who they are and when you register you can go and bid on things and potentially get something quite cheap. What they don't tell you is they force you in their small print to take out a club membership which is £59 per month for three months on top of whatever ludicrously cheap price you have just managed to buy something for and you buy you pay for your bids on here whether you get the item or not so that's not perfect when you're getting all of these people and let's just have a quick look at the mirror one which gives you an opinion on what it's all about and you're seeing everybody coming and whinge. Not only are they not getting their items, they're automatically being signed up for a platinum membership which is part of the deal and they're not getting the goods that they're bidding on and they also are asking for a scary amount of information such as your passport and your full credit card front and back but if you just google these people it's very scary to find more and more people asking how to get their money back and also what's worse is the world and his wife whinging coming up above their own account so if you see somebody on Facebook that isn't allowing other people to say anything I would start to worry so before you like anything and bring your friends in potentially go and have a look and see whether they're allowing people to do that uh, to put their own content on there and what's being said online about them otherwise you too could be sending an email out or a message on social media that says We've had a problem, how do we get our money back? Any of you out there had issues? fb.com forward slash the social media cafe. 
and will give you the list of people who've managed to get their money back or how they've done that. I look forward to speaking to you soon.